Oh, that's because it's Christmas Day, Dopender. And I'm after someone on my naughty list. Deadpool is a pretty overpowered character when you really stop and think about it. I mean, come on, the dude is pretty much invincible. Sure, you could literally blow him up, which would totally buy you some time to get away or whatever. However, he'd pretty shortly pop right back up, having healed from the damage. And yeah, that is, as I said, really overpowered. However, there is one power that Deadpool possesses that basically no one ever talks about, that makes him even more of a threat to anyone who gets in his way, even making him a serious problem for some of the most powerful characters within the larger Marvel Universe. But what is this power? Well, sit back, grab a chimichanga, and relax as I break down this lesser known power of Deadpool's that might just be the most powerful ability that he has at his disposal. Let's go ahead and dive right into it. Who are you? I'm Batman. So at this point, I'm going to assume that you probably have a pretty good handle on Deadpool's most commonly known power, that being his crazy healing factor. So yeah, this video obviously isn't going to be about that. Instead, we're going to be looking at his actually kind of messed up brain. Now, when you mention Deadpool's brain, two things usually come to people's minds. Obviously, there is the fact that he is completely and totally crazy town banana pants. Other people, though, would probably bring up his ability to break the fourth wall, which in a sense does tie into his craziness, but it is actually a superpower all on its own. But that's also not what I'm talking about. Nope, instead I am talking about his immunity to telepathy. Bet you didn't know that he had that. See, due to how broken and fragmented his mind is, telepaths can't read or really interact with his mind in any way. For example, in Cable and Deadpool number eight, while working with the X-Men to try to stop Cable, Wade Wilson pointed out that Cable couldn't read his mind stating that what happened to him during the Weapon X experiments left his mind as cellular structure in perpetual flux, which he also says is probably why he's so bonkers to begin with. Emma Frost then chimes in, confirming his statement, saying that she couldn't read his mind either. But what exactly would happen if someone tried to get into his head? Well, in the What If comic arc entitled Deadpool Kills the Marvel Universe, where Deadpool does exactly as the title says, Professor Xavier attempts to get into Deadpool's mind in order to shut him down. It's normally a very solid strategy. However, this isn't a normal situation. See, once he takes a peek inside Deadpool's dome, he becomes instantly and completely brain dead, as he just wasn't ready to fully comprehend the reality going on inside of Wade Wilson's head. Now, Deadpool didn't think that this was a good way for such a powerful character to go out though, as he stated that he hopes that the rest of the X-Men put up a better fight. Okay, yeah, that's, that's pretty OP. Since that means he is basically completely immune to the powers of some of the most powerful characters in the Marvel Universe. So how could this ability be utilized in a possible future Deadpool 3? Well, I don't really know for sure, but I have an idea at least. See, we know that Disney, the new owners of the X-Men film rights, have talked about doing more Deadpool flicks, but have said that if they do, they would be disconnected from their other comic-based film properties. But while he won't be a part of the MCU, knowing Wade Wilson, he's going to be aware of that universe's existence, probably cracking a few jokes about it. So what if that leads to a film version of Deadpool Kills the Marvel Universe? It would just basically be a massive fourth wall breaking flick that could actually bridge the MCU and the old Fox X-Men films, bringing the two universes together and just mashing them together and calling it a day because with Deadpool, it doesn't have to make perfect sense. And that way we could see a scene where Xavier does the same thing he does in the comics, taking himself out by simply getting into Deadpool's head. It's certainly an interesting concept something that Disney and Marvel would obviously never do within the MCU. But outside of it, now that is certainly an interesting idea. Either way, I'm personally excited to see this ability pop up in some way in the future. It is just too good to not see utilized at some point. It's over. Go home. Now, what do you think of Deadpool's least talked about power? 
What other hero's powers would you like to see me take a look at like this? Let me know your thoughts down in the comments below, and while you're down there, why not consider subscribing to Screen Rant for more awesome videos just like this. Thanks for watching, and stay safe out there.